Hey guys, Ross here from Consolidated, and today we're going to be doing an audit of Full Range Fitness Funnel. For those of you guys who do not know, we're offering free funnel audits now for the next month. And the reason for this is because we are promoting our new heat maps and screen recordings tools. So if you would like to have your funnel um, examined and you are already a Consolidated user, make sure you've installed the script and you've gone through the process and then just message us in the support chat and say, I would like to have my funnel audited. That's a weird word to say, by the way. Anyways, I wanna go through this. This is actually a nice um, website funnel. It's not fully a funnel because it's more set up like a website here. And you can see it looks really nice on a desktop. So design wise, it looks beautiful, but there are some changes that I think would make this thing extremely helpful. First is that, on some mobile devices, smaller ones, not all of them, this thing gets pinched. And I'm gonna give you an example. You can see this is coming from a mobile device. Let's find it. It was the one with the IP address of a six at the end of it, right here. As you can see that uh, this user, most of their experience was just looking at the header. Um, and I, I, I kind of noticed that the, Okay, so right here, you can see that this user's device is narrow. Now on a mobile device, this is common that your header needs to be either real small or sometimes I make it non-existent. Because the reality is, is nobody cares about who you are until they know what you can do for you. The other thing is, is that your header is a static header. So that way as people are scrolling, it was always there. So it would be nice that if it, on mobile, if that one would like. Okay. So um, after going through this, a couple of things that I noticed in the funnel. So one is that most people, I'm going to show you the interaction that most people do. They would come in, they'd see this, they'd scroll down, and then they'd look at this, and then they'd start scrolling real fast past a lot of this. They'd look at, you know, where you guys were, and then they'd kind of just start going through the, you know, your funnel and the way that you guys have it. Now, you guys have a font your um your ads funnel as well and i think that that's slightly different than this one and that might be where there's some differences but i want to go through on the messaging because you can tell where people stop and where people look uh oh that messaging isn't hitting home if they're moving fast past it oh that messaging isn't doing much for them so i want to start off right away with the headline so a good website or a good funnel that converts at the highest levels typically usually not always goes problem solution offer uh and the reason that it does the problem is that it triggers the amygdala there can be other things that trigger the amygdala but if you are a skinny person then being the strongest version of yourself is probably pretty cool if you are an overweight person you just want to get in shape and and you have a completely different set of pain points because if you just want to get in shape and I know this as somebody who's not in shape, you want something that works that you can stick with. You know, you don't want to lose weight and then gain it all back. You want something that you can stick with. So my suggestion, because you guys can help both, is to have one of a, a big headline and under it say, which best describes you? And then have two buttons. One says, I want to get stronger. And the other one says, I want to finally lose weight and keep it off. Boom, just have two different paths. So that way now your direction that you take them, the landing page you're going to take them to is speaking directly to that person because they're both very different. They both have different pain points. I think that um, if you could try to get into the psyche of the person a little bit more, it's going to help you guys out. Uh, another thing, too, is when you're talking to people who are overweight or even skinny people, realizing that they have an insecurity, that they're insecure about something. And so it's great that you say a small group training. I would even point out that's just like you. So that way they feel like they're with people that are in the same boat as them. You would want you want them to feel like you're not going to be the oddball here but you're with people who are just like you being trained, you know, by us. And then I would even try to emphasize here, maybe underline where it's located, because believe it or not, I found throughout funnels that that ends up being a pretty big thing. Okay, so then next thing that I would do as you come through is I watched your tour video. 
and you're great on video matt like you're you talk well you're interesting i think that the style of the video was great but i do not love the the script you could say and here's why because you start off in this saying let me show you around the gym we have this we have that these different things i want to reverse it problem solution author so Think about why have most people not gone to a gym? Or if they did go to a gym and they signed up once, why did they cancel and quit? It's because, and I can tell you because I've done this, you walk into the gym, everyone else around you seems to know what to do. They have a routine, they have a plan, and they feel lost. Like, I don't know what to do. And you're like making up mis- maneuvers with the machine. If it was me, I'd say, hi, my name is Matt. I'm one of the owners at Full Range Fitness. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever gone and signed up for a gym? You go to the gym, you feel like you don't know what to do. You see everybody else around you, they have a routine and you're, you know, hanging off the, uh, you know, a bar like a monkey, trying to figure out how the machines work, this, this, and this. Well, that's not what you get here at Full Range Fitness. Then take them over to that little map that you have, this one right here. And you can, and you don't even have to go through, say we have a simple color-based system that allows you to know exactly what to do every time you come. Uh, we're, you know, nothing is left to chance, blah, 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 blah. Then I would go through and talk about how different levels for different people make them feel like they are, um, you know, like they're going to fit in, et cetera. And if it was me, I would totally nix out this, uh, there's a spot where you're showing them like you weighing them on a scale. I would nix that. And the reason for it, I'll tell you this, that is one of the reasons I hate going to the doctors. I hate getting on a scale, like with a passion because I'm not in good shape. Something that I've struggled with my whole life that I'm working towards. And I know that you might say, yeah, but that's a part of it. That's fine. Show them it when you get there. <laughs> if you, the point of this is to get leads, market them, and anything that could make them think, oh, I'm going to be embarrassed. That's it. Those are objections that you're potentially raising that where people are like, I don't need uh, skill. So that would be my suggestion. The other thing too, your mission. I hate to say it because this is the only thing in here where I'm like, mm, this sucks. It's, it sucks. And the reason for it is because even though it's true, there is nothing unique about it. I guarantee you, you could ask any gym owner, hey, what's your mission? And he could say, to help you build a long-term healthy lifestyle through fitness and nutrition. Because we want your gym to be unique. You need a unique angle. I would change it and try to tap into their emotion to build a, to something about a way that you can get healthy and stay healthy uh, in a way that fits your lifestyle. You know, reverse engineering health. Our mission is to reverse engineer health so that way you can fit health into your current lifestyle and maintain something. I don't know. You guys sit around a table as a team, come up with it. I can't come up with your mission. That would be the opposite of a mission. But your mission should be unique. It should be something that it is um, it it, that when people read it, they're like, ah, that makes sense. That's that's great. Uh, A lot of this here is good. You have a lot of stuff because I like that you guys keep it about you. You know, you're in charge. I love that you have this picture here where it's like somebody that doesn't look super buff. Um, The picture that is, I don't know why my screen keeps doing this. The picture that's on mobile here, this background picture, this one there, on a mobile, it looks different. And most of your people are mobile. I'm going to show you what I mean. And this is an example of why I actually think that having a screen um, recording tool like this is great. That one's not available yet. Right here in this picture, you can only see this person's legs. You can't see the rest of their body much on the mobile. And to me, it makes me, it, they look like they're already in shape. It's just the picture. I know they're not because you could tell by looking at the website here that that person is just a normal everyday person. It's, you'd think, wow, that's wonderful. Because of the headlines, maybe find a photo where the person's over here and the trainer's over here. And the reason why I say that is because 
on mobile, it just looks like you have a trainer yelling at a skinny person or account being holding a skinny person accountable. Your ad is wonderful because your ad shows a guy who's slightly overweight working out. And if you could empathize, if you could transition that into the funnel, oh, it's going to be great because you're keeping the same messaging going on here. Now, if you end up doing it where you have, um, you know, what is it that you're looking to do? Bulk up or get healthy and stay healthy or lose weight and keep it off, something like that. Then you could make the picture to them. This is just a prime example of how by watching these screen recordings, you see a different perspective that maybe you wouldn't have thought of because you already knew the picture was there. You already saw it. But it wasn't until I went to your website that I realized that that person was an everyday person that was on. Anyways, hopefully this has been helpful. You guys have an awesome day.